Must be just the government phone. Oprima numero dos. To reach the Veterans Crisis Line, if you are a U.S. veteran or service member or are calling about one, press one Could to connect to specialized slower. support for LGBTQ plus people under the age of 25, press three. Otherwise, please remain on the line while we route your call to a Lifeline Crisis Counselor. That's stupid. Your call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance purposes. Damn gun could have already gone off. Please stay on the line while your call is directed to an available response. 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. This is Sabrina. How can I help? Sabrina, what does a person do that wants to end their life and doesn't have the courage to do so? Well, I think your first step is calling us, so I'm glad that you called us. Are you the one that's having suicidal thoughts? Yes. And I'm having to use a second phone of which if I didn't have, I wouldn't be able to even contact you because the government issued phone that I have says that the number's invalid. And I, it took me about three or four times to think, oh, well, maybe I better try my old phone. So those government issued phones that you get from like True Connect or whoever, whatever. Yeah, I could have already just done something to myself. And really, I want to. I really want to. There's nothing that you can do or say to me that's going to have... make this better. It doesn't matter if I have a plan or means to do it or anything like this. I've already rode this rodeo before. So what does a person do? When they've been hurt so fucking bad by their state by the medical professionals that did this to them, the lawyers that should have handled a case and didn't handle it properly, and then everybody else is taking a piece of the action, but they don't give a crap about your life. They tear your life up, leave you scarred inside, emotionally, physically, mentally, and you just want to kill yourself or you want to kill the people that did this to you, and you don't have the goddamn courage to. What do I do? Do I need to go to the hospital or what? I would definitely say going maybe to a crisis center. So what? They can lock me in? They can lock me down and, and, and evaluate me for three days? And then stuff me full of medication that's going to further cause more issues in my body that medications have already done? The physical, the mental, the medical professional people have done this shit to me. Told you, there's no help for me. That's all I get is a sorry. Can't wear it, can't use it, and it doesn't make it better. 